This is Unit 1, Topic 3, IMS Checkpoints. Hello, and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. This module will discuss checkpoint processing within a program when the program is executing within an IMS environment. First, let's understand the types of calls that are typically involved. The first call is called the Extended Restart Call. It is issued only once during the program execution and indicates to IMS that the program is checkpoint restartable. The checkpoint call is executed multiple times during the program execution at a logical unit of work boundary within the program. Now, let's look deeper into the XRST call. Here is a COBOL coding example to demonstrate the coding techniques. The first IMS call is the XRST call. The call is used for several purposes. For initial runs, those not involving a restart, the call is used to identify areas of working storage that will be captured and written out of the log. The length field for WS checkpoint ID length should be set to 12 bytes and should be defined on a half word boundary as shown in the example. The user area length in this example is set to 100 bytes with a 20 byte eye catcher, followed by 80 bytes of application data that will be captured during each checkpoint. It should also be defined on a half word boundary. The contents of the user area storage will contain things such as page counters, record counts, current key values, and other items that must be reinstated during a restart. The XRST call is the first IMS call and should be executed very early in the program execution logic. The call performs several functions. As mentioned in the previous slide, the XRST call identifies program-specific storage. This storage will be captured during each checkpoint call and restored in memory during a checkpoint restart. The call placement indicates the exact point in the program logic that IMS restart processing will occur. This logic includes resetting program storage, repositioning GSAM files, and repositioning IMS databases. A restart is indicated by a non-blank value in the checkpoint ID. In the example shown here, the program simply puts out a message when the XRST call returns a non-blank value in WS checkpoint ID. Let's look at this COBOL coding example for a checkpoint call. Notice that the parameter list is the same as the IMS XRST call. The checkpoint ID is assigned by the program and typically consists of a literal concatenated to a numeric counter. In this example, the first checkpoint ID would be checkpoint 0001, while the next would be checkpoint 0002. The IMS checkpoint call marks the internal unit of work or UOW boundary within the program logic. In this simple example, a program reads an input record from a transaction file, updates a database, and then writes an output record. Notice the checkpoint call has been inserted at the bottom of the loop so that the input record was read and completely processed. A checkpoint call has been inserted just before the program shuts down. While not required, it is a good coding practice. Notice that the program also contains logic to only issue a checkpoint call for every 500 input UOWs. This helps space out the checkpoint processing so the calls will not happen so frequently. We've seen the logic flow for the checkpoint calls. Let's take a look at the logic flow for program restart. When a program is being restarted, Processing begins at the top of the procedure division. In this case, the first call will be the XRST call. IMS will return the restart checkpoint ID to the variable WS checkpoint ID. Let's assume it was a checkpoint 22. IMS will reposition the input GSAM file so that the new record to be read will be the next record after checkpoint 22 was issued. This will usually mean the input file will be backspaced. Any output GSAM files would be repositioned in a similar fashion. The 100 bytes of working storage in our example will be copied from the hex 18 log record for checkpoint 22 and will overlay the storage currently in memory. The database position will be reset to the state as of checkpoint 22. Finally, normal program execution will resume. Because checkpoint 22 was returned from the XRST call, it will not be equal to spaces, so the program will display a message indicated that a restart is in progress. The program will then enter its main loop and will resume processing, but the input and output files have been repositioned, so instead of reprocessing all of the input data, only the portion of the data after checkpoint 22 will be processed on the restart. 
This concludes the discussion on IMS checkpoint implementation and usage. It is important to understand these basic concepts, even for non-IMS users, so we can better discuss how ARC implements checkpoint restart. The next topics will discuss how ARC builds on the concepts pioneered by the IMS Extended Restart Facility. For more information, please visit www.bmc.com. Thank you.